Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video on AWS Glue. In this video, we are going to talk in detail about AWS Glue ETL. In my previous video, I had introduced you to AWS Glue service. Um, what is AWS Glue service? What are some of its use cases and what are some of the features that AWS Glue provides? Okay, so you can check out that video to understand in depth about AWS Glue service. In this video, we are going to mainly focus on the ETL functionality of AWS Glue. Okay, so ETL stands for Extract, Transform, and Load. And this is a very important step in any data engineering or data processing pipeline. Okay, so you will have a data you know, which is sitting in a data source. You might have to extract the data and do some transformations on the data. Okay. Uh, transformations can be like filtering or cleaning the data or joining different data and all those things okay so once the transformation is done you can uh, you need to load the data to a data target it, this can be a data warehouse or a data lake or whatever okay so this process of extracting the data transforming and loading it into a target is called etl process now uh, to perform this etl there are many tools that are available in the market so there are a lot of etl tools that you can uh, leverage to uh, perform this ETL. Okay, AWS Glue also perform, uh, provides one such option of uh, Glue ETL to do this ETL operations. We'll explore more on how to perform ETL using AWS Glue in this video. Okay, so I hope I was able to give you a fair idea on what ETL is and uh, where AWS Glue ETL fits into this picture. Okay, so uh, these are the topics that we are going to cover in this video. We'll see what is AWS Glue ETL and some of the features of Glue ETL and after understanding these things, we'll go ahead and uh, create and run our first Glue ETL job in AWS. Okay, so let's get started. Firstly, what is Glue ETL? It's a fully managed extract, transform, and load service provided by AWS. Okay, so let's go one by one. So what does mean by fully managed? Fully managed means that this service is completely managed by AWS. Uh, when we say fully managed, all the servers, all the software, part, and everything is completely managed by AWS. The scaling up, scaling down, all the resources, everything is completely managed by AWS. So you don't, you just have to bring your ETL job and then run it in ETL. And uh, like we discussed, it's an ETL service. We discussed what ETL is. So it is provided by AWS. So that is Glue ETL. Now, what are the features of Glue ET, uh, ETL? So like we discussed, it's fully managed by AWS. And the second thing is it's serverless. So you don't have to create or, uh, you know, or deploy any servers or upgrade like i mean uh, do any so software installation on in uh, servers or whatever so it's completely serverless and it's managed by aws and uh, aws glue etl comes with apache spark inbuilt now uh, apache spark is one of the widely used data processing uh, uh, frameworks in a big data world so we'll uh, see how this uh, can be used in etl but uh, and to just mention here, Apache Spark comes in built with Glue ETL and you can leverage the power of Apache Spark in your Glue ETL jobs. Okay. And the fourth feature is uh, you can, there are different ways in which you can develop your ETL jobs like we would see in the next section of our uh, video. So you can visually develop uh, the ETL jobs like there are a lot of drag and drop tools as well in the UI, which you can use to create your ETL job and uh, the Glue automatically generates a script for you. Okay, and you can also bring your own script, uh, like you can have your PySpark script, which has all the ETL logic, and you can just bring it to Glue and uh, put the script there and run your job without having to worry about uh, the servers and everything because it's completely serverless. Okay, and uh, you can also develop your Glue jobs using interactive notebooks. For those of you who are, who are familiar with the Jupyter notebook uh, style of uh, you know writing code, there is also an option to interactively develop uh, your Glue jobs using uh, notebooks. Okay and uh, so glue also has a scheduling orchestration and monitoring uh, in built in etl so you can schedule your uh, workflows you can orchestrate them and like you can add dependencies also like after this job this job needs to be executed and all those things so you can orchestrate your workflows and you can also do a monitoring okay so uh, and then you can uh, so glue etl enables you to easily connect to different data sources and targets in aws and also outside aws like we will see so you can uh, connect to various data sources like s3 or uh, redshift rds like uh, it very easily using glue etl and pull your data and then uh, start writing your etl jobs okay so uh, these are some of the features of Glue ETL. Don't worry if you uh, are not 100% clear on any one of these points. Uh, as we start uh, building the Glue jobs hands-on, you will uh, understand what we mean by each of these steps. So I will be coming back uh, to these points when we are writing our Glue jobs, okay? So uh, now with this basic understanding of what AWS Glue ETL is, let's go ahead and create our first ETL job. 
so uh, let's begin writing our first glue etl job so uh, so what we'll be doing in this uh, glue job is we will have some data which is in uh, s3 and we'll do some transformations on the data and we'll load it back to s3 okay so in this uh, use case our uh, both our source and target are in s3 so like we discussed the source and target can be anything else so we, we will explore more examples where we'll bring the data from a different source and load it to a different target other than s3 but for this uh, example let's take a data which is sitting in s3 and then transform that data using etl and load it back into another folder in s3 okay so i have my sample uh, data uploaded here uh, in this bucket landing zone customers and uh, so customer csv so this is my data so if you want to take a look so this is how the, uh, the data looks like uh, it's a simple uh, customer data that we have okay so uh, let's transform this data using glue etl and then load it back here uh, into this transform zone okay so this will be the output location for our glue job so uh, so there are two things that you would need before you get started you need this uh, data in your uh, s3 bucket and then you will also need a iam role which the glue can use so i already created that iam role so if you're not created that time role you can go ahead and create it with these permissions so i have attached amazon s3 full access aws glue console full access and cloudwatch logs full access for this uh, role of course you can uh, fine tune your accesses to give access only to a particular bucket and all that so uh, but i just like even for the sake of simplicity i've given s3 full access so this role will have access to all the s3 buckets and it will also have a glue console full access okay so when you're creating you create it as a glue uh, service role okay so with these prerequisites let's get started uh, let's go to aws glue and create an etl job to read this data and transform it okay so like we discussed when you click on this etl jobs over here uh, there are various methods in which you can develop your ETL job. So you can uh, click on this visual ETL job, which, which gives you some drag and drop tools uh, to create your ETL jobs. You don't need to write any code here. And uh, you can also interactively develop the code using a notebook or you can uh, bring your own uh, PySpark script or like any script uh, which transforms the data. Okay, so for this example, let's uh, go ahead with this visual ETL and in the coming uh, videos, we will explore both these uh, methods as well. Okay, let me click on this visual etl so here this is very uh, like useful for people who don't uh, like who are not very uh, familiar with the coding and all those. so you can easily transform your data okay so what is your data source so there are uh, even if your data is in s3 you can also create a glue catalog table for the data and bring in from there or if you don't have a glue catalog table created you can just select uh, amazon s3 okay so now we have selected the source so if you see you can select the source and what the transformations that you want to apply and what is your target okay so this gives us an easy uh, ui based way for developing our etl jobs so let's click on this and uh, now we need to configure the source so name is s3 so s3 source type s3 location or catalog table if you have created a catalog table you can select this and i have already created the table so i can select this one as well so if you don't have the table created you can just select the s3 location so let, for now let's select s3 location and click on browse s3 and this is our bucket landing zone customers okay so let's actually select this entire customers okay so this is my data path so let's select recursive so that it will read the file in files in all the subdirectories and uh, my data format is going to be csv and uh, the delimiter is comma okay so i think this are fine so uh, if you want to preview the data what you can do is you can uh, scan like you can let the uh, glue scan the data and uh, generate a preview for you so let's do that uh, if you actually select a glue catalog table you don't need to do this preview it will al already be uh, present here um, okay let's let the glue scan it okay uh, you select the glue etl role that you just created in the previous step and let the glue scan that data so once the scan is done it will generate a preview for you okay so uh, it has scanned the data and generated a preview for us if you see here so this is uh, our data how it looked okay so uh, but i would suggest like i mean uh, to leverage the catalog table functionality so create a table in glue catalog and then you can use that as your source so that you can have all the tables and metadata uh, like already present okay so that you don't have to scan it here so anyway uh, for this uh, tutorial let's keep the source as s3 location and go through it so now we have the source configured 
okay let's add uh, transformation okay uh, so if you see these are all the like available transformations. so uh, like almost all anything that you can do with the data or you will have a transformation for everything that is there okay so let's select a simple transformation okay let's or uh, drop one field from the csv file and then load it to transform zone okay let's assume i want to drop uh, last name okay so now what we are doing is we are putting this transformation called drop fields and then we are dropping this okay so now we have a source and then we have a transformation configured let's add a target so let's go to target and our target is amazon s3 okay and uh, okay and one other transformation that we'll do is we'll just load it in parquet format instead of csv okay so let's configure this target now let's click on this target and uh, s3 and node parents so what this node parents means is what is the previous step it uh, on which this step depends on so this step depends obviously on this transformation uh, step so that's why we have linked it the format is parquet compression type uh, snappy and let's go ahead and select our okay so let's select this transform zone as our output okay so this is where uh, the data will be written after dropping this field into this transform zone in parquet format okay so if you see here we did not write any code uh, to read the data or to transform the data or to write the data into that uh, target okay so we just used the uh, visual drag and drop tools that is provided by aws glue to create this okay so data catalog update options so to not update the data catalog that is enough so if you want to like uh, create a catalog table for the target you can select this so let's ignore that for now okay and save this job as customers drop last name okay so this is our ATL job and let's save this job okay so uh, now this job is saved so if you click on the script here you can see the script which is generated by glue automatically based on the uh, etl job that you configured in the previous step so if you see here uh, it is reading this uh, data from into what is called as a dynamic frame so dynamic frame is basically an abstraction that uh, glue provides okay and it is reading from s3 csv format and it is uh, configuring all the paths so once it is reading it into a glue dynamic frame uh, it is applying this drop fields uh, transformation and then after that the transformation is applied it is uh, writing that data right dynamic using this right dynamic frame method uh, into this s3 with the uh, format as parquet okay so this is how glue automatically generates uh, this etl script for you okay so let's run this job and see what happens okay so now it says a job has started you can click on runs here to see okay so it is running so i think it will take some time to get the job up and running and then start up so another thing to notice here is that you did not spin up any servers you did not uh, install anything like uh, patches park or whatever dependencies you just like came here and created your job and ran it so uh, that is what we meant when we said that this aws glue etl is fully managed by aws so uh, all this uh, infrastructure and uh, everything all the dependencies handled by aws for you okay uh, so just like a couple of things here so uh, if you see here this capacity dpus so this is the processing uh, unit uh, for, that the glue provides you can um, you know, select the number of dpus that your job needs and the worker type so each worker type also has some features so this is the glue version so we are of course running everything on default but you can configure and uh, modify each of these parameters okay let's wait for this glue job to complete and then see the output okay so if you see uh, it says succeeded and it took uh, like what around one minute six seconds the startup time was 10 seconds okay so of course you can uh, like monitor all your logs if you see all logs output logs and error logs so this is how uh, aws glue makes it very easy for you to uh, monitor your uh, etl jobs okay so yeah i hope i was able to like uh, convey many of these features of aws glue etl over here Okay, now let's go back here into this s3 and check our transform zone let me refresh this 
So uh, this is the output uh, Parker file that our glue job wrote back into S3 into this path that we had configured in the ATL job. Okay, so now you can, I mean, of course, read this file and check for the output if it actually applied those transformations or not. So yeah, I hope, I mean, this was a very uh, quick tutorial to demonstrate on how to create your uh, glue jobs, how to configure the sources and targets uh, using visual ETL option. So in the next videos, I'm going to be showing you uh, how to use, uh, like, I mean, how to uh, develop your ETL jobs, more complex ETL jobs uh, using uh, some PySpark scripts. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Do let me know in the comments if you want me to cover any particular topic on AWS Glue and I'll be very happy to do that. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.